Hey everybody, it's the Micro Symbiote. My name is William Pidia Brown, and uh, today we're just going to do a demonstration on how to inoculate brain spawn into a bigger bag of media. Typically, this is done with sawdust, supplemented sawdust, uh, which you would need about 16 cups of sawdust, 8 cups of wood chips, 2 cups of wheat bran, and 1 cup of gypsum. Uh, you would have to mix that all together. If you look on my YouTube channel, uh, I previously did a video on how I did this with cocoa. Um, we are doing this with cocoa for an experiment to see if reishi mushrooms will fruit well off of cocoa coir and cocoa chips. But typically this is done with wood chips and sawdust. So um, we had our brain spawn of fully inoculated reishi. Uh, we have our glove box to do sterile, sterile work inside of. But most of the work I'm doing is semi-sterile. I do some sterile work and then I work inside of an environment that has a constant ionization um, and I have an air filter flowing. So um, semi-sterile. But uh, I have uh, full faith in this reishi uh, fungi. Uh, it's fast colonizing, so I have, a, I have a lot of hope and a lot of faith in it colonizing this uh, within the next weeks or so. So we did. A, we're going to be doing two bags, um, and all you really need is a glove box, which there's another video on my uh, YouTube channel on how to make one of these, um, and uh, you just get that all all done inside your glove box and you can get some colonized reishi spawn from me you can email me at apex grower I can send you a jar of fully solid colonized reishi spawn on either rye or corn and uh, we'll send it to you so solid that it'll probably get to your house solid and then you'll just need a bike tire to break it up and repeat the same process that we're doing here um, so if you have any questions you can throw that down in the comment box if you like this video hit the thumbs up and then share on Facebook and Twitter thanks for watching all right, hey everybody, it's Will. Um, doing one of our micro symbiote videos, and uh, we have some reishi mushroom here that is fully colonized on some corn. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to break this up, and we're going to introduce it into our bag of cocoa coir. Uh, this is going to be an experiment to see how reishi fruits off of cocoa coir and cocoa chips. So uh, first step is we're going to take our reishi jars over to our stool. And uh, we're just gonna smash them against our leg. If, if you let it colonize more than this, you're gonna have to get a bike tire or something like that to smash it because it's gonna be really, really hard. Alright. So we have our bags in our uh, pressure sterilizer over here. They haven't been opened since, uh, since they've been sterilized. There we go. It sealed itself up in there. So we're just going to dry these off on the outside and then introduce our cocoa in there. I mean our, introduce our reishi spawn. Alright, now that we have everything that we need in there, well, we just need to put some alcohol on some paper towels and that's the last thing that we need to do. Paper towel in here and put our alcohol in there as well. Now that we have everything in there, spray with Lysol, close that down. Now we get to work. We have our Tyvek sleeves. I like to use these long uh, kitchen gloves instead of uh, constantly using disposable gloves that I have to keep buying and throwing away. These last pretty long and you can uh, re-sterilize them with alcohol every time that you use them. That's why I have this alcohol and this paper towel here. And I recommend using 70% alcohol because if you're using 90% uh, it will evaporate way faster. So it doesn't do you good when it's not on the paper towel anymore. So just clean your hands off. And I gotta just spray down my Tyvek sleeves. Alright, 
and now we get to work. Get a little bit of alcohol on our paper towel. And we're just going to wipe down our jars. Take one of our bags here and see it's all sealed up. Just slide out the Tyvek sleeve, put that aside. Take one of your jars. Open up the bag. Take off the lid of your jar first. <laughs> Open up the bag. Get it at kind of an angle so you can get it all in there. And introduce your grain spawn. Alright, so we got one bag done. We're just going to fold that over, set that to the side. Now that we got all that done, we're just going to give a quick spray. I want to back up a little. We're going to give a quick spray of Lysol. And we're going to open, give another quick spray. There we go. 